One of the best ways is to bring students and educators into our facilities. I think that having conversations at school are, is very important, but I think that bringing them in and actually seeing how clean and how modern our environment is, is a really great way to get a sense of what manufacturing looks like in 2021. And also, I think it's important to have our employees talk about their journeys and education and realizing that it's, it's a very advanced field, that there's lots of opportunities and we really need smart, talented employees. So Fox Valley Tool and I has been involved with uh, youth apprenticeship over 30 years. And so from the high, that's from the high school aspect of it, even longer from the technical school side of it. Um, you know, I said in the high school side, the kids come into Fox Valley and we take them into uh, various areas of the industry. So it'll be in our, like I said, raw material saw department. And it could be, you know, six to eight weeks, maybe a little bit longer and then transfer them over to our production stamping side of it. They'll get involved in the machine, machine shop, running machines, doing some production machining, grinding. Um, we have a current uh, a gal that's been, was in the youth apprentice, she's in her process, she was interested in a welding program. So she actually did production welding for us. And so it, it gives uh, an individual a full gamut of what, what manufacturing is all about and uh, is this a career for me? So the investment that we make is about paying it forward to our community that we depend on for our business and making our children, making our students as prepared and informed as they can be to move on to the next stage in life, whether that's heading into college or heading directly into the workforce. We believe strongly in being good stewards of our community and uh, taking every dollar that we get, can give back to the community and putting it towards the most worthy cause that's out there. In this case, the JA Center at Fox Valley Tech is just that. To consider the impact that Open Book has had on students, I think we step back and consider the fact that the entire world has had to pivot, welding instructors included, from an in-person setting to some form of hybrid or online learning. What instructors found is their ability to serve up meaningful content for those students and be able to support their learning was enhanced significantly by the ability to embrace both the engaging welding instructional content that Open Book provides, as well as the ability to you know, track those assignments in an online fashion. These were capabilities that these instructors simply didn't have and overnight had to pivot and still deliver instruction and content and engage those students. And now the students have found that through the support of Open Book, their instructors are able to actually give them more hands-on time in a meaningful way that's helping them develop the skills they need to be successful without taking administrative time in the classroom setting. The relationship between uh, Keele High School, Lakeshore Technical College, and AmeriQuip is the perfect example of uh, manufacturing and education coming together, working collaboratively to solve a problem. AmeriQuip needed welders. Uh, Keele High School had students interested in welding, but lacked the equipment and the courses to keep them engaged throughout the high school and Lakeshore Technical College uh, came uh, and solved both of those uh, challenges. And they worked with their uh, partner, Miller Electric, to get additional new equipment into the high school. And they developed dual credit classes that allow students to uh, now take welding classes from their freshman year to senior year remaining engaged. And AmeriQua provides youth apprenticeship experiences for the juniors and seniors providing real life work examples. Just truly uh, a great effort by both education and, and business with a phenomenal result for our youth in the community.